Listen, YouTube, I'm just going to make a quick video, okay? I don't do movie reviews or anything like that. I have a boxing channel. I do not talk movies, but I'm a big movie fan, okay? I have over 250 Blu-rays in my house, all right? Um, I'm a big fan of Marvel comics or superhero movies, all right? Marvel and DC, you know, and Image because I was a fan of Spawn, too, back then when I was younger. Um, I'm a big star wars franchise fan i'm a big fan of james bond films the born jason born you know everything like i'm a geek when it comes to movies all right i watch everything i enjoyed some good movies recently like star wars the force awakens i enjoyed deadpool you know even other comic book movies like guardians of the galaxy the winter soldier days of future past those are some of my favorite movies that's came out in recent years okay wasn't too much of a fan of batman v superman but you know it is what it is you know but i'll say this going into this movie right i don't really know the backstory of the civil war okay i don't i don't really know the backstory to it you know and i did not watch one trailer the only trailer i saw was the first um trailer it wasn't even like a full trailer it was like a, a they showed one scene where iron man and captain america was fighting each other and, and iron man and was fighting against bucky and captain america that was the only short clip that i seen outside of that i did not watch anything now i heard of who was going to be in the movies okay i think it was pretty hard to not hear about it and see pictures I know about the additional heroes that's going to be in this movie. I knew about that going into the film, but I did not watch, watch one trailer, nor did I watch one commercial. Whenever the commercials came on, I turned away. I did the same thing with Batman vs. Superman because those were two big movies that I was really anticipating for this year, and I did not want the trailers to ruin it for me. Unfortunately, it didn't help for Batman v Superman. I didn't like the, I didn't like the movie that much. I thought it was just okay. I love Batman. I love Affleck as Batman. But outside of that, I did not like the film. All right? But this film, Civil War, was the best movie. I haven't enjoyed a movie this much since The Dark Knight. Like, I swear on everything. The Dark Knight was the last movie that I went to go see that I saw three times in a movie theater. There's no other movie that I saw more than once since The Dark Knight. I mean, more than twice, I'm sorry. More than twice. I'm sure there's a couple movies I had to go see again because somebody else wanted to go see it, whatever. I have not seen a movie that I walked out of the movie theater wanting to see it again right away. I saw it on IMAX 3D. I did not know what to expect. I am going back to the movie theater first thing tomorrow morning to see the movie again, IMAX 3D, and I I was blown away by the action. Like, if you like the Avengers movie, you're going to get that, and if you like the Winter Soldier, like, if you like Bucky and everything, you're going to love this movie. This movie was incredible. The new characters were in incredible. Like, even the storyline. If you don't know the storyline, if you know the storyline, then you're one of those hardcore marvel comic book fans where you know the story and you're gonna complain about certain things that happen the way i i don't know the backstory i went into this movie completely blind let's say you go into this not seeing the trailer not knowing the backstory you just know that all these characters that you like is going to be in one film and i did it i think they did it perfectly okay i didn't know what was going to happen at the end if you've seen the movie and you see it, it, the story it all ties up at the end. And for me, it was a big surprise to me. Okay. It was a big surprise what happened. You know, the last fight scene or whatever. I was shocked at what happened. You know, and I I, I didn't get how all of this was going to tie together until like right maybe 10 seconds before it happened. You know, and I understood then like why did they just keep showing it, replaying this sheet, the same scene over and over again. I don't want to give in any way any spoilers at all, all right? I'm just going to tell you guys, this was the best movie I've seen since The Dark Knight. 
I mean, as far as comic book adaption movies, even maybe even overall, because I, I can't. I I've seen the Revenant. I see some so many really good movies over the years, but this movie here, I'm going back in the movie theater tomorrow morning, and I'm gonna see it again, and I'm gonna pay for the IMAX 3D again. Um, and I'm probably gonna see it at least one more time after it dies out, and not you know it's not gonna be a crowded theater. Same thing I did with The Dark Knight. And The Dark Knight Returns was a great movie, too. You know, that's definitely one of my top five superhero movies. But this beat that out, in my opinion. The only other movie I could say it's on par with is The Dark Knight. The Dark Knight, this movie, you have Civil War and you have this movie. I mean, you have Civil War and you have The Dark Knight, in my opinion. I'm not going to give anything away. I thought it was excellent. There was a few things that didn't really make sense. There was a few things that was like, all right, come on, they're they getting out of line. You know, I'm not going to say what, you know, someone survives a, 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 a grenade explosion right in front of their face. I don't know how that I'm not going to. That's all I'm going to say. But outside of that, it was an excellent film. I, I, I seen some of reviews. I, I mean, if it was me, I, I would at least give it a nine. I would at least give it a nine. You know, I, I mean. The, the action was flawless. I like the camera angles. I like how it was shaky and stuff. Like the action scene, it kind of reminded me of the Jason Bourne fights, how the, the camera was shaking a lot. Um, everybody, everything was really sped up and fast paced. I loved it. Um, same thing with like Man of Steel. I like a lot of people's complaining about Man of Steel. I love Man of Steel, by the way. And I love the action, the fight scenes. It was just so fast paced and everything. But this film blows everything out of the water in my opinion good job marvel i don't think i mean i'm 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 very you know i'm anticipating uh x-men apocalypse but it's no way they can top this film i mean this film was really really good like they took this film i think this beats out anything that's coming out like right like it's nothing that can top this you can at least be as good this movie was everything i wanted in a superhero movie you know I'm never. I'm probably gonna not make another review again. I probably will someday, but this is a one shot deal. You know, I have like over 500 videos on here, and I've never made a movie review. And this is a one shot deal for me. Go see the movie. I enjoyed it. I think anyone would enjoy. It. If you like action, anyone would enjoy that movie. I mean, it's too many action scenes. It just goes back to back, and then when they all was fighting each other, it was just crazy. All right, I'm done, man. I'm going to go home. Um, hope you guys have a good day. Go check the movie out. Peace.